Hey YouTube, this is Torch Tester again with another video. Um, this is going to be a video about what I think are going to be some of the top decks for this September 1st format of 2.11. Um, also, um, about some of the cards that are going to be majorly played this format. You're definitely going to start seeing Happy Storm in every deck, along with three MSTs. That's just a given, so... <clears throat> for most decks, I really don't see much back row coming from them, because there's a lot of stuff out there to destroy them now, like Heavy Storm, MSTs. Um, I don't think anyone will run Breakers, but you never know. I just don't think that this format's going to be good for traps and spells or stuff. That Well, on-field spells and stuff, but... Yeah, Heavy Storm will definitely be played. Alright, I'm going to start from the bottom of the list up. So, I'm going to start with Six Samurais. Alright, let's see. Six Samurais, you still got three Kagamusha. You got your three Shiens and all those. But, you lost Smoke Signal and Gateway. Those are two main cards out of the deck. Especially Gateway that were taken out. Uh, their main Synchro was limited. And the deck just kind of lost a lot of speed it had. Um, personally, I think it's not going to be one of the most sought after, but it, it's still a fun deck to play around with. Um, I do I don't advise using it competitively this format because of what because Konami was stupid and took down the gateway all the way to one, which really hurt the deck. Um, I've heard a lot of controversy about it on YouTube, about what other people are saying, but after seeing Smoke Signal and Gateway being limited, I don't see how this deck's going to be that competitive. So, that's just my thoughts on that. Next is going to be Chaos Plants. Um, this deck actually is going to be majorly competitive, because uh, Car Trooper is semi-limited. Semi um, Chaos Sorcerer is good. They got, um, uh, the only thing that's, that hurts them, I would think right now, is Lone Fire Blossom, but there's so many things you can do with Chaos Plants. Because, I mean, you can still run with three Rikos, uh, the um, Plague Spreader, Spore, you can still use all those. The only thing that really hurt this was Lone Fire. I don't know. It's, it'll still be a good deck to run. Uh, definitely going to be seeing more of it. Probably different builds and stuff, but we'll see Chaos Plants more. Uh, next up, I think uh, X-Sabers. X-Sabers are going to be a really good format. They really didn't get hit by anything. They still have their consistency, plus they can stop the back rows with Heavy Storm and the MSTs, so... I think they're still going to be really good. Um, Amherst Blade is still at 3. He's gotten cheaper since he's in the Hidden Arsenal box. He's like 3 bucks for one now. Um, so he'll be easy to get. The deck won't be as expensive as it was to make. And it's it's been a really great deck so far. The new ban list hasn't hit it really at all. So I think that's just going to be another top deck. And the deck I think that's gonna that can possibly become top tier deck of this format is Gladiator Beasts. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking Gladiator Beasts died a while back, but I think that they're still gonna run pretty strong. They still have three test tigers. Uh, you can easily still play the deck with one Bestiari. Uh, two Laquari is great. You don't really need three. I mean, if you run Mermillo and Hoplomus and stuff with a Red Chiari, you're going to be fine. Plus, they came out with some new cards. I think it's Demakari and then there's a Tiger that are good, but Demakari is really good. You can attack twice per turn. Um, this is just one of the decks that I think will be number one. Uh, my other deck that'll be number one is definitely going to be Gravekeepers. 
uh, Grave Keepers didn't get. Uh, I wish I had a card I could show you, like I've been doing with the rest, but I really don't have any Grave Keepers yet. But um, I think that's gonna probably even that's gonna top everything this format because you still have three Neck or Valley, three Recruiters, uh, three Spy. You still have pretty much three everything. They never really got hurt. I don't. A lot of people are saying that Book of Moon hurt them, but since Book of Moon went to one, but I don't think Book of Moon really did anything in the first place. I mean, they still have Royal Tributes, and Gravekeepers are probably just going to be the top deck of the whole format. Uh, Gladiator Beast would be a second, number two, and X Sabers is definitely number three. Also, you're going to have to watch out for Heavy Storms and MSTs. So, uh, with other news, um, I still have my... Fairy Agent deck for sale, and also the Volcanic Synchro deck. Those are still for sale, so is the Resistance games. Uh, so yeah, that's just what I have for sale still. Um, my I have my blog up. It's not up yet. It's actually, I'm just putting on the finishing touches. Uh, I'll probably have it posted, the link posted in my next video. For you guys to go check it out. Um, so yeah, um, I guess have fun choosing what deck you're going to run this format, and as always, peace out.